Welcome to a new video about the restoring process of my boat. I know it's taking up some time, but it's almost there, and we can finally take off the plastic from the steering wheel. At first, this time, I've mounted a new indicator on the dash, with speed and position tracking. And also installed some small LED lights all around the inside. Then a box arrived with some new accessories. This black box will be used to fit the battery. I've also purchased two new aluminum oars and a fire extinguisher because it has to be on board in order to withstand our local security laws. I decided to place the oars and the fire extinguisher under the rear bench. This done, I finally started the last big operation, sanding and painting the downside of the hull. After masking the white parts with some plastic, I took back my orbital sander. At a certain point, I managed to get the boat lifted up from the trailer, because I wasn't able to reach some deep spot. I then took up the work while the boat was hanging from the steel structure, that I've borrowed from a local construction site. After cleaning away the dust, I started painting the hull, using the same synthetic paint I used for the other parts in my old videos. It was a two component polyuretanic paint, this time in blue.
After two coats of painting and some hours of back pain, the boat was finally dry and I parked it again on the trailer. Now I'm drilling four holes in the corner of the boat that will be used to fit a custom build sunscreen that is still under work but you'll see it soon. While doing this final step, the engine came back from the repair shop. It actually had no problem, but I wanted it to make sure it was clean and well maintained before fitting it again on the transom. As I removed the manual control, I had to build and fit a custom build metal piece in order to link the engine to the steering cable. As nothing is easy as it seems, I had to make a new hole at the side because the cable hadn't enough space to extend. Now that the engine is up running, very few things are left to be done. So make sure you don't lose my next videos. Thanks for watching.